Hello, folks. This is Anthony once again from the Facebook group and YouTube channel, Honda Snowblower Enthusiasts. I have a pretty neat video today. We're going to show you seven easy upgrades you can do to your Honda Snowblower that it's going to make it better than new. That's right, better than new. And we're going to also have a bonus feature. And I want to tell you that we started this group to help you Honda snowblower owners save money on basic repairs and maintenance. So let's get to it. Your first easy upgrade will only take a couple minutes and takes less than $2. Let me show you. Now we did a video on this before. It's your shooter here on on the on the snow blowers that have the shooter control. There's a plastic clip right here that usually breaks. So what we do, you can get this little grommet for a dollar sixty nine at a hardware store and stick it in here, and your it won't it won't be. Uh, uh, making a lot of noise, jumping up and down, and wherever you put your shoe, it will stay in the spot. A lot of people complain that when they put it up here, this just falls down, see? So this will stay. This is an excellent upgrade. It takes about 10, 10 minutes and less than $2. So that's your first upgrade. Let's go to the next one. This concerns the handlebars. On your handlebars, this is an 828, uh, a 624, the 928. They only have one mounting bolt between the upper bars and the lower bars. On the... 724, for some reason, they've got double bolts, uh, 1132s, I believe, and the 1332s have double bolts. I don't know why Honda didn't put double bolts in these, but it's easy to drill a hole and put another mountain, boat, uh, mountain uh, bolt in here, right about here, okay? So that's an easy upgrade, too. Only takes a couple minutes to drill a hole and put a new another bolt in here. All right, your next upgrade, number three, on the older HS models that have the have the pedal, your height adjustment pedal. A lot of machines handlebars break. They crack right there. You can see where this has been repaired. And it's very common for breaks in the handlebars. If you want to try to avoid that, you can be proactive and weld in some supports on either side. So a little bit of metal in a welder, you can weld in these gussets on your handlebars. And this will, this will uh, make your handlebars sturdier. So that's what you can do with your handlebars. You can double double bolt it and weld in these supports. Now the next upgrade is really, really recommended on the HS models. You've got this gearbox back here that drives your, your uh, tracks. And for some reason, Honda didn't put a grease zerk in it. It's supposed to be full of grease. You can do this yourself if you have the necessary tools. You can drill a hole. We did another video on this. And it has the, uh, uh, the size of the drill bit and the tap and everything. But this is a really good upgrade to do. Drill the hole. Insert the... Uh, Install the grease zerk and pump it full of grease. Every year you can pump in some more grease. That will keep the gears and everything inside the gearbox 
really nicely lubricated and hopefully it will prolong the life of your gearbox because if something breaks in here it's a very expensive repair it can be like 600 to 800 dollars so that's another highly recommended upgrade you can do on your older hydrostatic uh, models now the new hss models they do not have this gearbox so you don't have to worry about this okay I don't want to get you confused. All right, next on the list is your light. If you've got a lamp like this with an old halogen light, you can upgrade it to an LED lamp. AC, AC, DC, LED lamp. You don't have to do any modifications. You just put it in. It's much, much brighter. It takes less wattage. So that's a neat upgrade. Uh, it's very easy to do. You just take this lamp out, put in the new LED lamp. You've got a brighter light, and, it's, and you're good to go. So that's one of the upgrades. Now the next upgrade, let me check my list here. Grommet, double bolt, bar supports, LED light, berserk, grease fitting. Okay, your next uh, upgrade, we have to go down to the driveway here. Drift cutters. You can put drift cutters on your bucket. The holes are already there. You don't have to drill holes. The holes are already there. This owner took some one inch stock, drilled the holes, and, and put drift cutters on both sides. And what drift cutters do is they cut down your high snow. If you've got a very, very two feet of snow or whatever, this will cut down on your snow. He also put a wing on it too. I don't know if you get snow this high. You could, in the Sierra, you could get three or four feet at a time. But drift cutters, uh, I don't use them. Uh, there's only a couple times that you need them. I mean, otherwise, uh, I'm lucky. I could go out there and do a foot, foot and a half at a time and then go back out and do uh, more snow. But if you've got three or four feet, you want to cut down on the snow, you use these drift cutters. Now, the only cost would be the, the cost of the stock and uh, uh, stainless steel nuts and bolts. Okay? Or you can buy them. You can get them online on Amazon and uh, eBay. They have pretty nice uh, Husqvarna <clears throat> retractable uh Drift cutters are pretty cool. They're about 35 bucks. But uh, that's your next upgrade. All right, let's move it on. Let me see here. All right, your next upgrade would be impeller kit. Now, we talked about this. We got separate videos on this. What an impeller kit is, is rubber pads installed on your impeller this will help the help you throw snow farther and it'll also cut down on clogging issues this is a game changer like i've spoken about many times this can really really help especially if you get a lot of wet slushy snow in your area it really makes a big difference you can make your own kit for a couple bucks or you can buy it on Amazon or eBay for about 35 bucks and install it yourself. You can watch our video in the playlist and in install it yourself or have somebody install it for you. So I think that covers your seven upgrades. Um, this morning I was thinking there's one more that you can do. This is called the drains it. This is for oil changes. 
you can you can screw it into your drain plug right here and you can drain your your oil this will go past the the track it won't leave a mess and then when you're done you can hook it together and just and just leave it you just leave it on the machine for future use okay so that's a pretty cool upgrade too if you want to do this this is about 30 35 bucks but most of these upgrades that i just mentioned they're fairly cheap i mean other than the the drains in here your your impeller kit uh the lights about 15 bucks the bolt for your your handlebars is about five dollars to put another bolt on each side so you're looking at less than ten dollars for both sides this is this is cheap you just need a piece of metal on each side to uh to weld in and your grommet on your shooter control is only uh, less than two dollars and most of these uh upgrades i just mentioned they only take a few minutes other than other than the impeller kit and uh that's it everything else is really uh fairly easy to do yourself uh, we have uh, videos in our playlist on how to do some of this stuff. So check our playlist and please like and subscribe if you think this video really helped you. Thanks a lot, people. I'll see you next time.